If you want to bring out your artistic side, even if you aren't super artsy, Bay Area Fan Lab is bringing a unique experience to the paint and sip party. Joining, with, joining me now with more on what makes their paint and sip experience stand out is the founder and CEO of Bay Area Fan Lab, Monique Jones, along with their creative director, Roman Johnson. It's so good to see you both. Thank you. Thanks for joining us here on Live yeah. in the Bay. So I want to talk a little bit about Bay Area Fan Lab. Tell me how it got started. Um, I started Bay Area Fan Love uh, during the pandemic, actually. Um, there weren't many options for people to socialize or go out, so I tried to be creative and come up with something that people could do outdoors and have fun while still meeting people and staying within the regulations for COVID. Um, so I created a paint and sip event, which initially was held at Lake Merritt. So it's out in the open. We're embracing the beauty of the lake. We're meeting new people. Um, initially, it was more so locals. And then we started getting people from San Jose, Sacramento, people from other countries were learning about it. And it became a cool place for people to come and have fun. Yeah, and that was so needed during the pandemic, yes. people to get outside and just have a little bit of fun. Uh, so to be out in nature and, and painting and just enjoying each other's company, it was so needed during that time. Yes. What has it grown from since then? Um, it's grown a lot. Um, again, we started just at the lake. Um, and then, you know, with weather, you never know what you get in the Bay Area. Um, we started partnering with local venues. Um, with a venue, we were then able to incorporate like karaoke, more food um, variations, things like that. So um, the karaoke was definitely very fun. Yeah. I really like that yeah. a lot. Um, and now we've just been collaborating more with more venues and expanding more. So you have your indoor or outdoor option. And um, we just want to continue growing and expanding, getting new people. And Roman, you're um, the creative director. I know that you help teach some of these classes, correct? Yeah. What do you look for when you're kind of picking out your art? And what are you trying to, what experience are you trying to give to the people who come and participate? I'm trying to find something that they're going to be happy with going home with when they're done. I'm also trying to find something that's real quick and easy that I can teach within like the two, three hours. Um, and then just make sure everybody's having a good time. Uh, a lot of the times it depends on the group. Some people are trying to get a little turned up. Some people are really trying to actually learn how to paint. So it really just depends on the crowd. And um, I usually, like I said, I usually find something that I've either drawn up already or something that I feel like would be super basic, super easy. I don't want to make it too hard. <laughs> that's great. That's great. I know that people from all levels are welcome, yeah. so that's very helpful. And I, uh, I want to talk about when they come to the class, what are some of the things that they get? So what do you provide? And kind of take us through the experience uh, when people sign up for the paint and sip. What do they do? What happens? Got it. Um, so everyone receives their own easel, their own canvas, brush and a disposable apron. Um, we give them a preview of what they'll be painting prior to the actual class starting, so then they have a reference photo to go off of. Um, Roman does a great job with giving step-by-step -step instruction. People really love that, and most of the time, all of the time, I would say, their paintings come out great. So um, that would be the experience. We have music, and just, we want it to be a fun, vibe like a almost like a party yeah. but you know so yeah yeah and I think that's something that sets you guys a little bit apart to compared to other paint and sips so what are some of the elements that you thought of you know we want to make our, our paint and sips a little different and kind of bring a little more, more fun so maybe if you're not artistic like you said they can just come and enjoy themselves and some some right. art will happen on the painting but maybe not exactly what you thought what kind of other uh, elements do you guys add to make your parties a little different um, well, actually, um, you know, we have a like a, a painting that everybody could work on. But if anybody there is an artist and they feel inclined to do something else, they could totally make an abstract painting of the image or something they want. Anything, you know what I'm saying? Um, kids, like even like the ones outdoor at the lake, kids can come. Kids don't really want to draw or paint like the adults, so they can do anything. It's really, it's really like a free vibe mm -hmm. at the end of the day. So you let the artists express their, right. themselves exactly. however they want. Right, right, right. Yeah, and then what were you going to add as far as um, the additional elements that you guys add in there? I love the music portion, so I do go around and I'll ask if anyone has a request. That's kind of how <laughs> the karaoke started yeah, yeah, because yeah. people will request their song and then next thing you know they're singing and then it's a <laughs> sing-along and then it's like this whole 
choir. Yeah, <laughs> at the especially at the venues, people right. people get really vocal. Yeah. yeah. What do you see is next for Bay Area Fan Lab? Oh my gosh. Um, I love collaborating with local venues, local artists, so I just want to continue growing in that realm, um, bringing on more artists that can display their um, talents, um, having more people come to experience uh, what we have to offer, and just growing more. Yeah, yeah. I, I love that you have a platform where you're able to help artists collaborate and just right. providing a fun environment where people can um, express themselves, have a little fun, everyone needs that. So, right. uh, you know, congratulations on everything yeah. that you're doing and um, I'm excited to see what else you guys have in the future. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank, Thank you so much for joining yeah, us here. Yeah, definitely.